Hey everyone. So I wanted to share with you um, these new Heidi Swap cards. And I had seen her do a video on the cards. So I was kind of interested in checking them out. And I went to Michael's, um, let's see, Thursday. And Heidi Swap stuff was actually 25% um, off. So I thought, okay, this is the perfect time to try out these new color, color shine, color magic cards. So I've never worked with her um, color shine before. So I picked out two colors, teal and peach. And I'm just going to shake them up. You can hear that ball. So I'm just going to shake them up really well. Alright, so, um, like I said, I saw her do a video on these cards, but I wanted to make my own video just to share with you um, what it looks like when like a real amateur puts together a card like this. Because, um, obviously, Heidi Swap designs these and works with these and works with her color shine all the time, but I've never worked with it, so I like giving you guys... A really truly beginner's perspective so it comes with a matching envelope and as you can see there's color magic paper on there too and then this little piece and that opens up and that's the inside of your card so there you go so I'm just gonna kind of cover the back of my card up because that's just like plain cardstock so it'll soak up the ink and probably get pretty um, saturated and I don't want my ink to um, I don't want my paper to be fragile and I don't know if I'll actually send these as a card maybe it'll depend how they turn out but I think what I want to do is put them in a scrapbook album or on a layout so um, and since I've never sprayed with these before I'm just gonna spray it off to the side a couple times there we go okay oh and I just sprayed my out or my envelope so sprayed a little bit too high so I'm just gonna kind of spritz right there in the middle a little bit that's not really in the middle but okay we'll work with it and then I'm going to use this teal color, and again, spray it off the edge, and that's a little bit too much teal. See, true expert, or true beginner here, no expert. Alright, so I'm just going to take a paper towel. Soak up the excess and show you how it turned out. So, obviously, I got a little bit on the back there, and I don't know if that's dry yet. Not quite, but let me see if it'll pick up some of that really like sparkly color. So I actually really like the way that turned out and I think I will just go ahead and do the envelope. So maybe I definitely want to start with the peach because it was like the lighter color. So there I got a little more coverage. On the edges and one thing that I've read um, you know just about misting in general is to like spray confidently don't be wimpy with the mist because um, then you're gonna be less likely to be happy with the results so I'm just gonna flip that upside down just press on that and I do you really like the way that turned out? I will say, like, 
you know, I was not too heavy handed with it and it's like peeling up. So maybe I used too much. I didn't feel like I used a lot, but so hopefully as that dries, that will be a little bit better. Let me just grab some more paper towels here and oh, here's my, my rag. And this mat is from Ranger and I just got it. It's brand new because I wanted to try to work more with my distress inks. So I just, I really needed a mat like this that would wipe clean. Not that, I mean, I don't really care if my mat under here gets dirty, but um, it's obviously there's some things you can do with this Ranger mat that you can't do with your um, traditional, like, mat. So I'm just going to spray some water on here and hopefully that'll wipe, wipe away a little bit better. Yep, there it goes. And like I said, I did spray some on this mat, so I'm just going to try to clear it up. Oh, I even got some on my Project Life box. I'm such a klutz. I literally have ink everywhere. That's one reason why I don't normally spray with mist. I normally like splatter them on the paper, but I really wanted to try this effect, so um, here's the envelope again. It's really, really curly, so I might have to like set that like that and flatten it overnight, and then that's a little bit curled up too. I definitely like the way this came out more. It's almost looking kind of bronzy because that blue kind of mixed in with that peach, but I do like the way it turned out. I'm not such a huge fan that I like have to go out and get more of these mists, I don't think. Um, but it is pretty. The cards were a little bit expensive. I want to say they were $4. It does not say in here, but I think they were $4, and you only get two cards and two envelopes. Um, so that was a little bit disappointing. But while I'm on camera here, I'm just going to grab a piece of cardstock. Alright, and this is a piece like of obviously die cut. And I just want to like see how this does if you want to get those little droplets. I don't know how it'll dry, but it is actually drying already a little bit, so that gives me some hope. So let's try a peach, and normally I don't really go for these peachy, orangey colors, but I really like, I really like this combination, and they did have the amethyst, and I just said the other day that I wanted more purple in my scrapbook room, but... I just really like the way the teal and the peach work together. They just really seem to be more complimentary. So let me wipe up my mess again. And I'll just show you how that splattering turned out. And I actually really like that. It's definitely, it's got like more texture to it. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not, but it's got kind of a more raised texture element to it. Like it doesn't just soak into the paper. I mean, you can see there on the back, like it's got little spots, but with mist, a lot of times it soaks like all the way through. So this kind of sits more on the surface and it is sparkly. It's pretty dry already, except some of the bigger spots. And, of course, that shine is going to rub off a little bit. But, um, all in all, I do like these two colors and these two mists. I'm not sure if I would run out and buy, like, a whole lot of colors. Um, but, I mean, I like it. And I like, I like the 
the colors and like the intensity that they have. They're not too washed out, which is something that I find with a lot of mists. Once you splatter it on the paper like that, they get kind of washed out. But um, I like that. So I'm a fan of the mist. Not a huge fan of the cards. Um, I just feel like it's a little bit too fragile. Um, I like the concept of having this banner piece um, as the card. Or on this one, you can kind of see it like tucks in. Like here's the edge and it tucks into that banner piece. So that's really cute too. Um, but I, I just don't think they're worth $4 for two cards. Um, whenever, especially when you have to buy the mist too. So that's my opinion on it. That's how I did it. So um, if you have any tips or tricks that you want to share with me, um, leave me a comment. If you like this video, please Share the video, like it, and subscribe to my channel so you can see more content. And thanks for watching and have a great night.